Yes, we got him. I can't believe it. Pixar loves to sneak some of their favorite characters into other films for die-hard fans to find, and Disney animators love to sneak Pixar characters into their films because they love them. And we love it when they do, so today we're bringing you some Pixar character cameos in Disney movies. Ready. Number one, to theme parks and beyond. In Ralph Breaks the Internet, as Ralph and Vanellope visit Oh My Disney, we get to see Buzz say his iconic catchphrase, to infinity and beyond! Number two, blink and you'll miss it. During the final race to win the Vespa, as Julia jumps on her bike, a woman carrying a baby can be seen on the right side. This is confirmed by the director to be a cameo appearance of Baby Riley from Inside Out. Now this film takes place in the 50s and Inside Out definitely takes place way more recently than that, but the director confirmed it. Maybe it's Riley's mother? Grandmother? Go crazy, film theorists. <laughs> Number three, I wish I had toys as cool as this at my dentist's office. In Finding Nemo, as Nemo looks around his new home slash prison, he notices a treasure chest full of toys. One of those toys is the interstellar hero Buzz Lightyear himself. When the dentist leaves for the evening, does he come alive? Do you think Nemo and him were friends? Hello, little fella. <laughs> Number four, I much prefer Sid play these instruments than play with toys. In Coco, while watching skeletons perform their acts for the chance to meet Ernesto Del Cruz, one skeleton is wearing a very familiar t-shirt, a shirt which belongs to Sid from Toy Story. Seems the toy bully turned garbage man turned musician now pulls off a Skrillex type look and performs for his skeleton brethren. Not well, but you know, do what you love, man. Number five, the Duke is in. Pixar really has their stuff all figured out, don't they? Before Toy Story 4 even came out, one of the big characters from the film had already debuted in The Incredibles 2. In Jack-Jack's crib, we can see the Super Baby already has his own Duke Kaboom toy. Woody me. Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. <laughs> Number six, seems like an appropriate time for another toy-related cameo. In Monsters, Inc., when Sully finally brings Boo back to her own room, Boo shows Sully, her new best friend, all of her favorite toys. She hands Sully the famous Pixar Luxo Ball, what appears to be a stuffed animal version of Nemo, and Boo also hands him Jessie the Cowgirl. So cute. That thing is a killing machine! <laughs> Number seven, a fellow dinosaur fan. Toy Story's Rex is among Wally's cherished possessions in his home on Earth. We're getting thrown away? No, no one's getting thrown away. Number eight, Buzz Lightyear strikes again in this Toy Story 2 scene. During the end credits of Toy Story 2, two of our faves from A Bug's Life, Flick and Heimlich, make an appearance in a sort of blooper extra scene. Apparently they were hired as extras in Toy Story 2 to be swatted away by Buzz as he moves through some grass. Hollywood is so cruel. I can't believe that you talked them into making A Bug's Life 2. <laughs> but it's not A Bug's Life 2. And what is it then? And action. <laughs> Number nine, Riley loves to pop up all over the Disneyverse, doesn't she? In Finding Dory, as Dory freaks out about her new home slash prison, there are a bunch of children staring into her aquarium. The far child is Riley herself from Inside Out. I'm sure Joy was happy to see fish, but sadness felt bad for them. A mixed memory, for sure. Hi, do you know anyone who lost a kid a long time ago? Number 10. More toys, more cameos. As this child looks in bewilderment at the ballooned house that flies by her window and up, Lotso Huggins' bear sits on the floor across from another Luxo ball. They just love new toys now, don't they? Number 11. Are you up for another cameo? When Remy ends up scurrying through an apartment building in Ratatouille, he's chased off by the silhouette of a barking dog. And after much speculation, longtime Pixar writer Pete Doctor confirmed at San Diego Comic-Con that barking dog is none other than Doug from Up. My name is Doug. I have just met you and I love you. Number 12. I guess he hung up his villainous ways to entertain kids instead? Bomb Voyage from The Incredibles appears in Ratatouille as a street mime. I'm proud of him. Hereby restored. <laughs> Number 13. 
This next cameo is for you good dinosaur fans. In Monsters University, as the scare referee cleans up the fake children's rooms for the scare competition, they sweep away a familiar brontosaurus. That's Arlo, the good dinosaur himself. Is this timeline with monsters the same one where dinosaurs didn't go extinct? Hey, Ted! Good morning! Number 14. Squirt and Crush from Finding Nemo make some waves in these cameos in Moana. Squirt can be seen entering the ocean, while Crush can be seen as little Moana discovers her ocean friend. Whoa! That was so cool! Did you see me? Did you see what I did? Number 15. Arlo is not the only dinosaur to meet our cameo criteria. In Inside Out, one of Riley's memories contains a visit to a very large Triceratops. This is not just any Triceratops, it's very similar to Forrest Woodbush from The Good Dinosaur. I hope it was just a plastic version of him and not a stuffed, taxidermied version. Or maybe he's just standing super still. Then I will meditate on this. Hmm. Number 16. Doc Hudson is incredible too. The retired racer can be found during the fight with Syndrome's robot in The Incredibles near the end of the film. Hey, this is not your car. It's not your car either. Number 17. Sully is a brave monster. Sully can be seen in the Whittler, which, which Hiddler's shop, or at least his effigy can be seen on a plank of wood. <laughs> what can I say? The camera loves me. Number 18. Heading back to the dentist's office and finding Nemo, a boy waiting for his appointment can be seen reading an Incredibles comic book. Number 19. He doesn't just play chess. Jerry of the Pixar short Jerry's Game was notably seen playing a solo game of chess right before A Bug's Life aired in theaters. He then appears as the toy repairman who gives Woody some stitches and a much needed paint job in Toy Story 2. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? You can't rush art. Number 20, Yeehaw! Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye from Toy Story 2 all appear in a poster on a fence in Meet the Robinsons when Goob recounts his childhood. <laughs> oh, please, look at us! Number 21, Go Fish! We can find Nemo far from home in this Brother Bear cameo as the people fishing hoist up their catch. Nemo can be seen when they accidentally drop their daily catch. Get out of there now! Oh, Number 22. Even lamps have a soul. The infamous lamp from the Pixar logo meets a new soul in Soul. Sorry. New souls. 37, that's enough. Number 23. A multi-purpose lamp, indeed. When Wally builds a sculpture of Eve from Trash, one of her arms is made from Luxo Sr. from Luxo Jr., Pixar short film from 1986. Such a romantic. Number 24. We love a cameo more than 30 years after a character's debut. In Toy Story 4, when Bo takes Woody to a club for toys that have been hidden beneath a pinball machine at Second Chance Antiques, she calls the owner Tinny, a tin toy soldier who first appeared in a much earlier Pixar short film. Tin Toy was produced by Pixar in 1988. Hi, Tinny. Aw, oh, nice to see you too. We all love a good scavenger hunt. Feel free to look back at the films we mentioned to see if you can spot the same cameos. Any Pixar appearances you love that we didn't mention? Feel free to tell us below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos. And thanks for stopping by The Things Animated.